are you guys doing? I hope that you guys are just like doing fabulous. Getting ready for Christmas. And all these like magnificent gifts that Christmas brings, you know? So, uh... I just want to make like a quick video about my... This is a dream interpretation channel if you're new. And, uh... <clears throat> I see like a lot of celebrities I used to really like in the past. Yeah. And, uh... <laughs> like it all relates like to my testimony <laughs> and uh like a lot of different videos I talk about like a lot of different people a lot of different celebrities I see and um I started praying for deliverance from like a curse of destruction like a while back and uh started praying for like prophecy and stuff and then I just started seeing, like, that all these celebrities I used to be a fan of were, like, worshipping curses. And that was the reason I had this, like, curse on my life. Because I was a fan of theirs. Like, when you're a fan of a celebrity, like, a fan... In, in my dream interpretation book, a fan represents, like, a spirit. So, like, if you're a fan of a celebrity, that means that you're one of the spirits <clears throat> that, like, goes to them and helps them with whatever they want, you know? Like... Let's say they start praying for like a new job or something fun or a man or whatever. All of their fans like get together apparently and try to like help them to, to make their like dreams come true, you know. Uh, unfortunately, not all celebrities have the best intentions. And uh, I think like a lot of these people do not even deserve to like have favor on their lives. Because from what I've seen in the spirit, a lot of them are like so freaking evil. And I think that's why I see a lot of them now because I didn't know in the past so I got I started going to church like religiously once I had my daughter and like I had this curse of destruction on my life after that that I seen as like Cardi B <laughs> like I've seen in her videos that she's like a curse of destruction and death and I've seen like Ariana Grande as like a curse worshiping curses and a lot of like uh, actors and actresses like in their movies like, from what I've seen in the spirit, they pretend to be someone else in the spirit and just, like, curse someone righteous. And that's, like, how they make their money, you know? Like, that's how the devil does things, apparently. Uh, the kingdom of heaven does not do things like that, you know? So, like, in my testimony in the past, I've talked about when, like, uh, uh, like, I had opportunities to be the same way. And I chose not to and decided to run the race of faith instead. Because, uh, being a fan of theirs was only, like destruction against my own life because I couldn't see that they were cursing me okay so like in these dreams and this testimony I'm talking about like when I realized that I'm like helping these the people that are like cursing me in their music and their entertainment and everything and uh how I had to like do this in my own strength because apparently people just like couldn't stand because of like the danger of like the Illuminati or whatever so uh like in these dreams I see uh, Will Smith I saw and I'm going to talk about some people I went to high school with and I'm going to talk about this like thing I just went through like recently how I uh, had to like set up this like destruction in my own life to uh, break free from being a fan of these people in the spirit like I had a dream one time about uh, Will Smith and I was like helping him with this like red table talk show like I was helping him like with what to talk about and stuff and uh when i was sitting at the table with him like i started hearing like a sad song and then like i started like giggling and like like i just couldn't talk to him anymore for some reason like the interference there was interference in our when, when i was sitting at the table with him and then he got up and he's like oh i'm, I'm uh talking to miss piggy okay so i've seen will smith as someone that like he represents, he represents this, like, thing of, like, me being a fan of celebrities when they're cursing me. Or cursing me because they worship the devil and I don't, you know? You know, they like fruitful, uh, fruitful fans. People that have good fruit. Like, compassion and love and forgiveness. And, uh, uh, unselfish people. Because those are, like, the best fans. They, like, do whatever they want for them. They, they make all their dreams come true. So in this, in this dream with Will Smith, I see him as, as someone, like I had a dream that I was helping him learn how to wrestle. And uh, he like practiced on me. 
and uh, I was like on the ground and then I was like naked and then he like ran and I followed him to this place and they were doing like witchcraft in this place I didn't see him after I went to that house so that means like you know uh, helping these people being a fan of theirs uh, I got shamed for it because they're cursing me in their music and I couldn't see in the past so I got favors to stop listening to their music and now what's happening in my life represents me like uh, no longer being their fan in truth and in spirit because I had to like go through these like things in my life and I did not understand and now I do so uh, like <clears throat> one thing I want to say is like this girl Angie one time I seen her in a dream standing up and it was in this like really fun place by a stage it was like kind of dark it kind of looked like a nightclub you know and Angie was kind of like chubby and she likes to like give shelter to like dogs and stuff like that's like what she does and um <laughs> like she uh, used to all like everyone in my high school they used to always like come to me when like someone did them wrong because they wanted me to defend them you know and then after a while like after I like left high school and stuff I remember one time she called me and was like this girl I gave her a job and she stole from me okay. <laughs> and I was just like over it like girl I, like that's fucked up but like I don't fight no more you know uh this like damn curse destroyed me from fighting you know <laughs> so what that represents is like Angie represents someone in the spirit that uh gives shelter to foolish ass celebrities or foolish people like that's what she represents in the spirit she's chubby that's what that when her like helping people when she came to me and told me that this girl stole from her the reason I didn't do nothing is because in the spirit <clears throat> that was me taking my strength back that I gave these people that are cursing me because I had a dream that I saw Blueface the rapper okay he was like uh he I told him like give me my strength back and then he took it back from the mob. He took these like jewelry, all the like four pieces of diamond jewelry, and uh, he gave it to me. And then the mob was like after him, you know. <laughs> so maybe I saw Blueface because he was trying to like curse my plans of doing that, but that already happened in the past, you know. So the reason I didn't defend her in the past is because I was giving people favor in my world that were like betraying me, or maybe it wasn't even them doing it. It was probably just like a curse. From this like entertainment industry that I've seen as like all these celebrities I talk about you know I thought I was seeing them just because I was a fan of theirs I think I'm seeing them now because they all just like represented a curse after uh, I gave them favor for whatever they wanted in the spirit and like I was watching uh what you call it uh, Ariana Grande's thing like I was watching her performance and like if you could see in the spirit and you know what colors mean and outfits mean like her whole performance She's like performing for as destruction. She has like this long ass sleeve that represents destruction to your rule in life. And like I saw like the joy of my human spirit in her performance. So like apparently, uh, like I've seen Eric Grande's like death and like shame to my body. Like when I like smell bad and shit, it's because these celebrities are cursing me. And uh, I was a fan of theirs, but I couldn't see at the time. So like I had this job okay and this represents me leaving these spirits that are attacking me in this way okay so I saw like I had this job well first of all let me go back okay I'm gonna talk about these three jobs I had that represented these different type of principalities or celebrities that I was helping as a as a fan and me leaving like seeing Will Smith and him like I'm helping him with his business and he's calling me Miss Piggy He's calling me like a vessel for death, for like a plague of curses, is what he's calling me and I'm helping him, okay? I was so mad when I had that dream because he called me Miss Piggy. In the Bible, Jesus Christ delivered this man and uh, because he was like in the mountains cutting himself, Jesus Christ delivers this man and sends the demons into the pigs <clears throat> and all the pigs die. So him calling me Miss Piggy, he's calling me like a vessel for like all these curses and I'm dumb enough to like be a fan of these people okay so in these jobs I just I just lost three jobs in a row okay I have not been able to maintain my finances 
and I seen this, uh, I know the reason why is because in the spirit, like maybe these celebrities or their spirits are promising me favor for helping them, although they're destroying me, right? So I had to like, uh, physically I'm seeing this now. So I saw me giving joy to people that are cursing me with shame. Um, like seeing, seeing Will Smith in his dream with like this witchcraft stuff means, um, I'm helping these people fight my life with spiritual warfare because of prophecy and um what else was that like seeing angie okay i saw angie in a dream standing that means that she represents like someone that stands up for insensitive like foolishness like staging foolishness okay like someone that stands up like the strength of this thing kind of okay like i don't talk to her anymore i wouldn't defend her anymore because in the spirit she represented these celebrities that are cursing me okay so like I had three jobs back to back, okay? One job was like a remediation place, okay? Like I had a dream that I was in a hospital and every time I, I had a cut that healed on my leg, someone else cut me and then another person cut me. And I just like couldn't find healing in these places because I was listening to this worldly music that's full of curses, okay? Like I'm not gonna help any of y'all motherfuckers or be a fan of anyone that's cursing me. It's not gonna happen, okay? Like, uh, I love God, and I favor righteousness. I ain't giving no one favor unless they're doing something righteous, and they're not, like, full of shit about what's, right, what's righteous, you know? So, um, this is, like, the three jobs I had to suffer, like, losing, and I was, like, heartbroken over it. It was, it represents me leaving, like, all the celebrities, you know? Like, I seen that I was, like, a dancer for, like, Meg The Stallion. That means that I was cheerleading her, and in the spirit, she represents, like, aggression, and like being bullied and stuff even though i fought a bully in the past and overcame them apparently i was her fan and uh i ain't a fan of no one that's a bully okay or rude or, or aggressive so i actually had this job at a mold remediation place and the manager was so fucking abusive and aggressive and rude okay and i was i smelled bad like mold and stuff because of this curse of destruction this place represented the favor that this bitch was giving me for helping her destroy me, basically, okay? Like, seeing Meg Thee Stallion as this, like, bully, it represented this place I was working at, okay? Like, uh, getting paid to be treated like shit, basically, it's just like a curse. So I quit, so I'm not helping anyone that's treating me like shit in the spirit or cursing me, okay? Or attacking my mind and my body and my soul. <laughs> <clears throat> this was how I, like I stopped having favor for like all these celebrities in the past and then the second job I had I kind of seen this as like Ariana Grande you know I was working at Kia a Kia do dealership selling cars so like a car salesman in the spirit could represent like the devil okay if you're selling opportunities a car could represent like a destiny or an opportunity okay so this place was like so much fun like it was like a dream job for me I thought and there was like so many young people it was full of life there was a ton of business there a lot of money to be made but um i still smelled really fucking bad because uh like my senses this represented when i was offended horribly and um couldn't do nothing about it because i couldn't see that these like people that i was a fan of in the past or favored in the past were cursing me like and having joy for listening to their music and like full of life like yes drake sing to me boo like i was like uh getting favored to be offended basically okay and it represented this job at kia like i crashed a car there on accident <laughs> after i like hooked up with this man there because like this dude was like uh, talking shit about me because he was training me and he did not like want to pay me they were like super greedy there you know so, um, <clears throat> like, this represented the joy that these celebrities have for me being a fan of theirs when they're only cursing me. I crashed the car. That means I ruined their opportunities and my own favor, okay? Because I don't want favor for a curse on my life, okay? I want deliverance from that. So I, uh, lost that job and I was, like, super heartbroken over it. Had I known the truth... I would be happy and I am happy that I left that place because it represented the joy I had for these celebrities in the past that were cursing me. Then I got a job at Mitsubishi and that like fell apart. Like I got promised like more money than I ever had. 
And uh, two weeks later, this dude just said that he just wasn't going to pay me that. I had to like do it on my own. But there's like no business there. It's like slow as hell. It was not as busy as this Kia place that I thought was like so fun. Um, it's just like really fucking slow there. There's no business. This fucking uh, manager is like the greediest man I have ever fucking met in my life. Okay. And like everyone there talks crap about him. Because they always have problems with their paychecks. And um, me like losing this job now. It represents the greed of these like rich um, celebrities. Or people that have like everything they have in their life. And they just make you promises and then just destroy you. Like if you do this I'm going to give you like something really really like the best you ever had. And really they are just lying ass pieces of shit. They don't keep none of their promises. Because they're fucking greedy. Like, like a lot of these celebrities I've seen as like these people that do this. They get fans that are uh, righteous. They're fruitful. So um, you know at this last place I think it represents like... Uh, it represented like joy for like prophecy okay because it was a fruitful place you could make a lot of money like a lot of provision and a lot of this and that it could represent like prophecy in the spirit because um i had a dream one time that this like red-headed dude was waking me up in this like lab and then we walked over and he showed me like all this fruit and he's like all this fruit to yours and i was like oh wow you know and I was like biting, eating the, so a big huge strawberry. It was the best strawberry I ever had. It represented my own fruit for my prophecy. Seeing a redheaded man there means that uh, he was waking me up to show me something. He represents these evil spirits, okay? And then outside of a window, um, I kissed this dude, right? As soon as I woke up, because I saw that he woke me up, he did something nice for me. So I gave him a smooch. And uh, then we were like in this place and I heard myself screaming outside this window like if i was getting fucking tortured like tortured horribly that means that as soon as i seen that there was this evil spirit um managing my fruit my good fruit for my prophecy and for my life i betrayed his ass and i was saying like in that dream i was like i heard myself screaming i was being tormented okay that's when I started seeing prophecy of all these celebrities that are attacking me. And I asked him, like, what does someone have to do to stop this? And he was like, a check. So I'm giving you a job to work uh, maintaining my fruit. And you want me to pay you to stop someone for torturing me. That's like basically what I saw, okay? So me being in this fruitful place I saw as Kia, it represented these like evil spirits in a place of maintaining my fruit. And uh, when I betrayed this evil spirit, I got attacked horribly. And uh, in order for them to do anything about it, they wanted like more from me, you know? Like if, if everything they have in the world is not enough for them. And I think that represents this place in Mitsubishi where this greedy ass manager like doesn't even want to fucking pay me what he's supposed to pay me like you know if you don't sell cars they're supposed to pay you draw um to hold you over until your next paycheck or until there's business to, to make money like he didn't even want to do that okay like i had to wait like a week to get a check from there and like i haven't even been there because i had a dream that at this place this mitsubishi place that represents me not working there represents my spirit leaving like all these people there's like three jobs okay the Godhead, like people you see as God, like all these celebrities that I was uh, helping out and they were only cursing me. Me losing those jobs represents me leaving all these, like all these people so that I could find a righteous place. People that won't betray me, like find new favorite celebrities um, that are not greedy, they're not wanting to curse me, and um, they're not, you know, using like illegitimate forms of prophecy. And uh, are not going to steal all my fucking fruit whenever they're already rich and famous, okay? So anyways, at this job at Mitsubishi place, I saw that this dude was like the authority for weakness. Like he's just like really fucking slow. I think that's why I seen him like that in this place. And he wanted me to have a covenant with him. I don't want a fucking covenant with the, with the devil of weakness, okay? God did not create me to be weak. A uh, spirit of destruction took my strength in the past. 
You see myself like Cardi B is like worshiping death on my life because I'm fighting this curse of destruction <clears throat> in the spirit. Like I've seen her as that person, and like other actresses, like Chloe Mortis is one. Uh, Ben Affleck's wife is another one. Like I've seen a lot of uh, movies where I see curses, and a lot of music videos where I see curses too. So in this dream, I seen a three-headed dragon. This place represented me working for these like evil people that worship the devil and uh, stealing my fruit. You know, they're benefiting from my fruitfulness and my good works for God and the fruit of my heart and my spirit. And uh, they don't want to do nothing for me except make me suffer more to do anything. Like if they give me any type of favor, I'm going to suffer for it. Because I'm in a place uh, that's being managed by an evil spirit. Like being a, fa being a fan of these like evil celebrities, you know, they want me to defend them when my mind knows the truth. And then they want me to be self-destruction and destroy myself. That's like... <laughs> So me leaving this job represents me leaving all these like all this shit like leaving all these celebrities that are attacking me and um anyways i seen this three-headed dragon there and when i didn't when i refused this covenant with the spirit of weakness because i saw who he was and i felt like he was attacking my mind um i seen him throwing me in a scolding hot shower okay like unleash the fucking wrath of god on me because uh i refused a covenant with satan I don't want to come in with Satan, okay? Thank you. So me, leave, me leaving these like three jobs, even though it's like I'm facing destruction. It's like, uh, it's like destruction for, destruction to a curse is what I'm suffering right now. It's not even like, uh, it's destruction for a good purpose to defeat this, the spirit of this curse. So to uh, have my spirit leave all these celebrities that are like, cursing people because they're greedy okay or because they're just evil or they're insensitive and they're foolish and um they don't care uh, about righteous people because they're not righteous they're just like evil and wicked so me leaving like these past three jobs represent me leaving like the godhead of all these evil celebrities now that i see is curses and you know, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys will pray for me because I'm hoping that my next job is coming from the kingdom of heaven. Someone that favors fruit and someone that does not fucking hoard it and steal from it. Like, steal from it, you know? Like, I want to find, like, good people in my world that have a similar spirit that, that's, that's not selfish, that's not greedy, that's not hellbent or envious. And, um, is willing to help me the same way that I'm willing to help them is what like I'm really praying for you know just like a good hearted uh, good soul uh, you know genuinely like good fruitful people in spirit and in truth you know and they're not just like full of shit lies so like <laughs> that's pretty much it you know I hope that you guys have like a blessed day and uh, keep on keeping on and uh pray for me and all the holy saints oh one thing i wanted to say about this jake paul guy like uh you know he like beat this dude's ass in his le like one of his last fights this dude he's like a black dude and he has like uh red and blue shorts and jake paul is dressed in like silver and gray and like if you you know and boxing in the spirit represents like spiritual warfare like i've seen jake paul like I've seen me believing that I'm him in a, in a vision, and then I seen him like turning into like my dad, and it represents like that whole fight represented like <clears throat> my wisdom, the wisdom of my joy, being with all these celebrities, and beating this dude's ass because he represented favor that they were giving me for self destruction to destroy myself. Okay, and um, I had a vision last night. Someone was saying like I was never, I was never before you. That means that the, the spirit of this like greatness that I have coming in my future, it's it's never been seen before. Like it's it's never been in my world in the past. It's like a new creation, being reborn to Jesus Christ and like dedicating my life to God. He's saying that he's giving me like something new, like something different. 
it's not going to be a curse from any celebrities in the past. It's going to be like something different and something new, you know. So that's pretty much it. I hope that uh, you guys have a blessed day. And uh, Merry Christmas. You know, Christmas means like revival. So um, a long time ago, my family, like my brother got mad at me. And he stopped letting me like, he didn't let me go to a Christmas at his house one time. And I was like crushed and heartbroken over it. I think that represents this time now where I have no revival because these jobs all represent favor for a curse. So my family and my church from the past all like work together I guess in the spirit to destroy this fucking curse on my life. And that was like why in the past I guess he didn't like let me come to his house for Christmas. <laughs> because this revival was cursed. So that's pretty much it, you know. I hope you guys have a blessed day. You know, <laughs> again. That's it.